Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on so you don't miss out on the next episode of Rockton County, an Ontario themed city. Oh, this is a great shot. Holy cow. <laughs> Make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. And follow me on Instagram too. Uh, and uh, last thing, happy Friday. Nothing better than a Friday, right? Uh, and when you're watching this, this is the Friday before uh, Thanksgiving weekend in Canada. And uh, yeah, best weekend of the year, Thanksgiving, best holiday, <laughs> in my opinion. I don't know. I, you know, it's the best food, you know? Uh, all right. So uh, last episode, we built our uh, cruise ship harbor and we detailed it and uh, it's kind of become like a bit of a transit hub. We didn't really hook up a lot of the transit, but I was kind of fiddling around with stuff and I got a little bit carried away and I kind of put in... <laughs> I was just testing things out and I was like, okay, I, well, I really like this. I just want to leave it. Uh, I added in a bunch of keys around the downtown. So I was just trying to play around with uh, figuring out how I wanted the key system set up. So uh, I was looking uh, uh, at Toronto and I was looking at Kingston and uh, a bunch of other cities along the Great Lakes, like Chicago. And I was thinking about kind of how I wanted to model uh, the waterfront. Uh, and I settled on something and I liked it, so we're gonna do that uh, today, but uh, there's one thing I want to do first. Oh, look at that great shot of the city again. Uh, and that is last episode, our zoo leveled up and we didn't actually go level it up. So we're gonna do that. And the reason why I'm doing that is because probably on Monday's episode, uh, we are going to do a, like a level five uh, build of the uh, amusement park and zoo because I'm hoping the zoo is going to get up there in time uh, because the amusement park just hit level five so that is fantastic and I don't want to do that today because I really want to get more people in the city uh, and then we can kind of do them at the same time right so yeah let's uh, let's hop out of these views and dive into today's episode so this is what we built last episode uh, I'm still we're still dealing with a bunch of backup <laughs> it's it's hilarious uh, and uh, there's tons of people using this. I actually had to bump up the amount of subways on uh, our subway system because there was so many people using it. There was literally like a 1.700 people backed up here. And then I was like, all right, I'm just going to put a bunch of trains on the north-south line. Uh, and yeah, it's, I mean, it seems to be working pretty well. It's not really too many backups, but there's tons of people waiting over here. There's people parked. Uh, their little kiss and ride kind of kind of deal. Uh, yeah, I really like how this turned out. I think it works really nicely. It's got an info booth for maybe getting your tickets for everything. Uh, some food, some nice places to walk around. But uh, we didn't really build up the key this way. Um, for talking about this direction, uh, here's my idea. This area here, which is you know it's a bit steep, uh, a bit of a steep slope. But I think we'll be able to manage. Yeah, I think we'll be able to do it. Uh, I want to make this section here our industrial waterfront. So getting the cargo ports in. Uh, because we can repurpose this interchange. Especially because it's an express, right? So the express carries through most of the city. Um, we'll have to watch out for how traffic flows through here. We might need to get uh, some sort of bypass highway. Perhaps that's what's going to happen with Duke Bedinboro here, uh, up into here for people to, uh, you know, move cargo from over here. But you know, there's lots of things we can do to prevent that. But I'm thinking if we repurpose this interchange, we might be able to get a cargo airport, uh, airport, uh, cargo harbor uh, system in here. But that'll be like a end of the week, next week kind of build, um, if not the week after. But I just kind of wanted to get that uh, out there for now. Um, but let's look in the other direction. Let's actually just go into this view. So this is what I did. Uh, you know, built out these waterfronts. Perhaps this was the old industrial waterfront out in here uh, that they've repurposed since. So I want to kind of leave some remnants of that in play by, by uh, having a bunch of piers, maybe some fishing docks through here to kind of have like a, a like, you know, a showcase that it used to be the waterfront uh, but maybe cargo boats have since gotten much bigger since the city was founded so they moved it over here uh, where they have maybe a bit of a deep 
deeper water uh, port and there's less uh, boat traffic coming in and out of the city. So yeah, that's my idea. Let me know what you think. Uh, but I do like how this turned out. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, for the majority of today's episode. Uh, we're going to get fairies here and then more fun stuff over here. Maybe a fishing boat or two. But uh, the tram's going to run right along here. We might not keep this road. This is this was just pretty much temporary. And then we have some cool seating. Maybe, you know, you come down here to the concrete walk. I don't know, the boardwalk uh, kind of thing. And he said, and you can look at the... Uh, the islands and the boats go by uh, but I want to get at least three separate ferry stops in here so we'll figure that out uh, because I want one dedicated to probably not come through here because holy cow so we'll swing all the way out over here and we'll go out to this island which uh, is probably just gonna be a nature reserve holy cow this is horribly built by uh, the map builder who built this map <laughs> it was me uh, and then maybe we'll get some things over here I'm not sure. I was thinking about building an airport on this island, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. If we do that, then we're going to need a tunnel, and that tunnel is probably going to come out of out of here then. So this inter system interchange is going to be heck of massive, or we can uh, go tunnel from here. So I think I'll leave that. Uh, like I don't think we'll build out in here for a little while, just in case. Uh, because otherwise we'll be building a tunnel out over here. Which, I mean, isn't the worst thing in the world. Uh, let's see, actually, how those airports play out. This is off the top of my head right now. I hadn't really thought about uh, doing the airports yet, because, well, we can totally get the uh, Metropolitan Airport or the International Airport. Uh, well, well, I can't exactly click them. Uh, out over here, where we're going to have our main airport. We can have a secondary airport uh, as well, right? So that's what I'm thinking we put in right here. So it's just this one, just like a single simple landing strip. And it, it fits pretty well. I think we'll need to flatten out the land. That's very similar to what uh, happens in Toronto. But I mean, there's two landing strips in the Toronto airport. But uh, Billy Bishop Airport, I think we did something similar to this uh, in our first build, uh, New Lancaster. So you can go back and watch those. Um, but uh, maybe we'll do it. I don't know. But I think otherwise, I just want some ferry stops out here. But I'm, I've talked too much. Before we get building in these quadrants here today, uh, let's go level up the zoo and let's check out uh, the amusement park. So yeah, we're making money on the amusement, on the amusement park now. Let's just bump it up to a, an even 30. And let's go level up the zoo here. So this won't take too long. Um, if I remember, we'll put a timestamp in. Uh, let's put it up to 25. Nice even number. Uh, and yeah, sometimes I forget to do the timestamps because I usually do them on the day of. And if I'm busy with work, then I can't do it. But uh, anyway, so let's. We got two things. We got the giraffes and the monkey palace. Yes. Okay, so that's a bit too big to go over here. But we might be able to fit it. Oh, that'd be pretty cool if you got it over here, because then you kind of like, if, you're, if it's over here, you're walking, you're like, oh my gosh, that building looks so unique over there. Let's go. So let's uh, let's place that in right here. Nice. Okay, so it looks like there is a path over there. So I think we might need to, so we might need to actually rethink this. We might need to push it back a little bit. Push it back to about here. <laughs> and all the monkeys are going to have to run all the way over. Let's just go into here, <laughs> free form, or free view. Yeah. <laughs> Look at them all. <laughs> amazing. It's amazing that this game actually has the animals in them. Okay, anyways. Like as, as, as characters. <laughs> let's grab this node. Let's move it back a little bit. And uh, let's make sure we actually grab the zoo path. Let's bring it right behind. Let's turn our guidelines on. Let's take it farther than we need outwards. And then we'll just continue the grid by just 
sticking this out a little bit. So we're gonna have a bit of space here. Um, not exactly sure what we'll be able to do with this space. We'll figure it out. Uh, we could just have like a bit of a nature transition as well. That never hurts. Uh, and the drafts was next. So uh, these are the elephants. These are the buffalo. Besides the antelope, everything over here is maybe a bit more North American. Everything here is a bit more non-North American. So why don't we look at getting the drafts over this way. So the elephants are over here. I think maybe let's get, so what else do we have? We have the rhinos and the lions. So the lions are probably gonna go at the back here because they're the main attraction, right? So we'll get the lions right back over here. I mean, at least in my opinion. The drafts can go right beside the monkeys and then we'll get the rhinos right over here. Okay, perfect. So let's delete that. Giraffes. Uh, I guess we'll put it this way. And let's try and make it so it's pretty much even right here. All right, then we can connect up. All right, I'm gonna need to fix that. So we're gonna grab move it here. I'm just going to tweak this, move it over until it's relatively straight right here. Looks pretty close to me, so I think we'll leave it. And since it has an amazing viewing deck, we might not need anything else. Oops, uh, water. Preemptive placement. And uh, I think we'll save uh, the rest of the build for when um, we actually need to level it up because we just need to make sure we hit the next entertainment level we did. So now I just, I'm just going to wait until uh, we uh, get enough people in. And it's only 3,000 more people. Uh, it's probably not going to be too, too crazy. We've got a ton of buses here for everyone. It's clogging everything up. Holy cow. Uh, but yeah, there's tons of things we can do. Maybe perhaps get like a secondary... Uh, convenience center, I don't know, some washrooms, some cafes, but uh, yeah, oh, it looks like we're running low on something. I'm just looking right here. Let's see if we can spot it. It might be all the way out over here. No, it's always hard to spot where they are. Um, but uh, yeah, I leave this up here for your convenience so that you can see how the city's running. And I mean, it's also for my convenience and I can't seem to find it. Anyways, maybe it's gone. Uh, now let's get into the meat and potatoes of the episode. And maybe let's start off by figuring out where we're going to run this tram. Hmm. So right now we have this tram turning around and that's gonna be too tricky to get the tram road all the way over here. But uh, if we run it up here, we could uh, it needs to connect to other systems and we were talking eventually about getting a tram down this road but maybe we get the tram down this road instead that would come right through here we would bypass uh, the subway station here which I mean would be great but we're gonna be eliminating some of our bike roads which is I guess is fine in, in the long run but uh, maybe we can come up right here then yeah, that's actually not a bad tram line. Because it'll connect to the subway twice, but it's gonna... Ah, this is this tram line. Yeah, you know what? That's actually gonna work. Okay, because uh, we have a line that runs here, and we have another line that runs here. So this is kind of cutting it off, and if we head down, and then we can also uh, continue this a bit farther along the waterfront so we can get two different tram lines in here. Um, all right, so let's uh, <laughs> let's dive into it. All right, so tramps, holy cow. Already starting out good, aren't we? Uh, and then we're gonna connect right down here, we said. So that's a major road, so we'll use this one. So we'll come right along. I think maybe we'll just duck down here instead of disrupting what's going on there. Yeah. All right, so we'll do that. 
I'm gonna upgrade this. It looks like we're a bit off centered here. So I'm gonna grab this with move it. Just hold alt. There we go. Look at that. All right, and then we're gonna connect down and we're just gonna run straight down. And then connect up. Fantastic, all right. And then we're just gonna use this road for now, although we will upgrade it in the future. Um, let's try and find a good way of doing this. I guess we'll continue straight out to about there, and then we'll do a bit of a curve to about there. Hmm, let's actually back that up with touch. Um, we'll curve. Do we want to connect? Yeah, maybe we do, okay. So, let's, let's grab it again. Uh, let's actually make it a straight road. And then I just want to run a small piece of road right here. And then I'm going to grab it with move it. We're going to run it right beside the concrete here, put it down to the same level as the key. So now people can walk in between these two. It's gonna flood ever so slightly but that's fine. Let's exit and move it here. And then from here, we can do a bit of this. Look at that, that's beautiful. And then I guess what we'll do is we'll, maybe we'll take it off of this main road and then we'll run it. Hmm. Because it doesn't really need to run up into here. because this is supposed to be more of like a car focused area, but we don't really know what's happening over this way yet. So why don't we, yeah, why don't we look at maybe just getting in a straight road first and we'll just try to line it up with this. So we'll go to about here, connect up. Oh, that's not straight. This is our main grid, right? It is. So if we line it up properly, it should work out. Oh, wrong road, but that's fine. So I think this is where we wanted it. And then now we just need to connect it up with a nice curve. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, and then uh, we just need a bit of a turnaround. So I think what I'll do is I'm just going to go, actually, you know what? Let's uh, just make it ourselves. I won't, uh, I won't use move it for this one uh, because I want to try something a bit different. So let's go to our tram roads. Let's find our tram only uh, one way tram track. I think maybe we'll try the, just the one lane one. Is there a single lane tram track? I thought there was. Or am I just actually literally blind? Oh, it's okay, we'll just use this. Um, anyways, let's uh, bring it out. How am I gonna do this? Uh, okay, let's go into curve. We're going to about here. Let's go out two units and go over two units, I think. Nice. And then let's do the same thing this way. Two units. Down two units. And then do that. Uh, yeah, a bit of a cone shape here. That's what I was going for, but it doesn't look like uh, it really enjoys that that much. Oh, there we go. Yeah, is there seriously not a one lane tram track road? Okay, maybe we'll just use this. I wonder if, if we use this uh, we might be able to say there's no rights. Oh, that's the wrong one. 
No. Okay, I think we'll just have to live with it. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on. Uh, I think I'll just try to, if I remember, I'll get uh, another asset from the workshop uh, for it. But let's try and just use, move it here. Yeah, there we go. It's a nice little turnaround, a bit different from uh, the previous ones. Then maybe if we can flatten that. No, okay, let's just, yeah, it undid it itself. It knew it was wrong. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, now this one can come down a bit farther, should we wish in the future, and same with this one. But like I said, I really just wanted to focus on getting um, these tram connections in. <coughs> and then um, uh, building up this er these areas, and we're already 20 minutes in the episode, and holy cow, uh, that kind of just shocked me about how far are we in on the, we in we are in on the episode already. So let's just uh, change this one up. All right, I'm gonna turn collision on or off for this one. Turn it right back on, and then we are going to go down a bit, maybe. No, no, no. We gotta get up right right now. And then there's a bus line here. Okay, sorry bus. And then now we need our four lane road. It's gonna go right to there. And then I guess we'll upgrade to these now. And we'll go right up to there. And hmm, I mean, it would be nice to just get the tram coming in this way too, wouldn't it? And we'll get it to loop around. So I wonder if we can get... There is a two-lane road with the tram going the other way. Isn't there? But this way... That's just a one-way. Two-lane, two-way tram track. I mean, we definitely need those four lanes. But we only really want the tram on one side of it. It's always difficult figuring out what we need. There we go. So we might just run into some traffic issues, unfortunately. But I would love to see this work. And then we can loop around, and then we'll have it go this way. All right, really changing things up over here. And I know there were some comments about uh, about this, uh, and honestly, I just kind of forgot about it this week. I'm um, holy cow, looking at the people. Uh, I know there was a comment about coloring these roads with, um, I think it was from David, about uh, using intersection marking tool. Uh, I'll play around with it maybe next week. I uh, kind of ran out of time this week. Um, anyways, yeah, so it was a bit of a busy week in my personal life this week, but that is what it is. All right, so let's see if we can get this working. I think there's a lot of buses coming over here, so if we're gonna get a tram stop, it'll be right over here. So let's get those tram stops going. Uh, is this tram? It is. So I guess the tram stops right here. Create a new line. And we're gonna just stop right here as well. So like off and then on, and then we'll run it all the way down here um, along Graham Avenue. And then it's going to go straight in. It's going to stop. I guess it can't stop here. It's not exactly the best spot. Oh, there we go. Stop right there. It'll turn. It'll turn. We gotta stop. Yeah, I guess. I guess here is a fine, a fine place for another stop. It's not a great place for another stop, but it's fine. Actually, maybe along Oscar Peter Street, and then on trip side here, and then we kind of have a stop. That's a bit too close, though. Yeah, okay, we'll just do there. And then we'll come down, 
I'll just ignore any stops for now. And then this one is going to stop. Actually, I'll just throw a stop right here. And then, whoa, we're going to stop uh, right there. It's going to fly all the way back. Stop here again. And then we'll come right back. Well, I guess we have to stop here. Stop there. I'm going to take out this purple bus, I think. Actually, let's make sure it's over there. And all the way back. Okay, so I know this isn't the most efficient. But, especially with the amount of traffic we have. But the tram is realistic. And honestly, I really care about that. So let's just uh, fix this up a little bit. Uh, we'll say, uh, just keep moving. Same with you guys, just, you know, just keep moving. And I guess we do need crosswalks there. Uh, we'll definitely take out this light then. Um, so you yield. And they're backed up. If the bus is coming this way. Okay, well, let's, let's check out this purple bus again, because I did say we were thinking about taking it out. Uh, it's going to be really tough to see. Yeah, I think this tram just kind of... Yeah, let's take out the purple, purple bus. I don't know what, exactly what line it is, so let's just grab it. Line details, line 24. We didn't even name it. It was that temporary. <laughs> so let's delete the line. And these people will have to deal with leaving, and then the green bus kind of connects here to over here. So I think we'll leave that and we'll save this spot for another bus, especially now that this purple train, uh, which tram line details, this is tram line seven. Uh, let's check out all these tram lines. So this is going to be uh, the amusement park waterfront tram. So it has nine trams on it at the moment. Uh, I'm thinking something closer to 12 for now. And let's change its color to something like an orange. All right, so we'll let that go. And we're definitely due for a big transit review episode. Um, so we'll do that at, at a later date. But uh, let's get another tram going. We'll get it to stop right here. It'll loop around. I don't want it to clog up everything here, so we'll get it to stop there. And then we'll get it to stop right here. And this is just temporary, pretty much. It'll loop around. I think we can get a stop in there. And I'll come back, and then we'll just mimic our stops. And then complete the line. Uh, as of right now, this tram line is going to pretty much be useless. So this is tram line eight. Oh, we don't, didn't name tram line 6, apparently. Uh, tram line 6 is waterfront line. And it has to be blue, doesn't it? But we already have a bunch of blues. So we'll try to find a cool... That's not water color enough. There we go. And waterfront line. Oh, didn't name it, apparently. There we go, didn't capitalize it, that's fine. Uh, let's go down to like three for now. All right, so this has really turned into quite the uh, the transit hub. And now we're half an hour into the episode, we've done trams, uh, we've kind of linked things up. Now let's dive into some of the rest of it. Uh, let's look at getting in the ferry terminals. Now, we're not going to do this yet, the Ferry Depot, because uh, I want to put that over here, and I just don't want to build that right now. Uh, but let's grab this. This is going to be the terminal for the ferries that touch these islands. So let's just grab that. Let's plant it down. And let's just try to do a couple things here. One, let's get it to the same height as this. Uh, two, let's see how far we can 
reasonably move it back. So the concrete goes to about here on the building. As you see, we're sticking out right beneath it. So let's try to get it into the key there. Perfect, okay, let's make sure it's at the same height again. And then let's grab a small ferry stop. And this is going to go into here. Right about in the middle, I guess. And this is the ferry stop that's going to go all the way out to this island. So it's gonna be one ferry, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, but let's make sure we're at the right height. Let's put it to that height. And then we're gonna move it back as well. Um, but I guess what we need to do first is unlock these segments and then delete them. Because what I would like is for this to go to about there. I guess this key should be a bit different than along the outside. So I guess maybe we should just leave it like this. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We get either a large road that might be able to connect the both of them. So maybe this one. Let's turn our guidelines off. And our node snapping. I wonder if this will connect them both. It kinda does. Okay, so I think we can move this one back a bit farther then. Maybe we'll try to line it up so that the fence... Hmm. Okay, let's do something silly here. I'm just going to move this out. And we're going to move this one out as well. And then I'm going to delete this to about there. And then we're going to put in the new key. So I figured out why the key wasn't working yesterday. And that is because uh, these keys don't work with the key enter key. Okay, and then we'll do this one. Delete those two. Snap them in. And then we might as well just delete that and make this one a fenceless key as well. So it just has one light at the end, so just watch out. <laughs> All right, and then we'll grab this and we'll swing it back over here. I think what we'll do is we'll move this back a bit farther so that we kind of connect the fence together because the fairies come into the middle anyways, right? So that works. And then now the key is kind of subsumed and now it looks like... Yeah, oh, that looks fantastic. Okay, and then we grab this. We can bring this one in and I think what we'll do is we'll just well, the fairy's gonna have to do this it's gonna look a bit silly it might kind of clip a little bit sometimes but I mean in reality the, they'll be able to do it so uh, we don't want to bring it too deep in there so I think just about there is fine and let's grab everything Did I, do I have everything I think I might and let's set it to the same height as over here. Nice. All right. I'm gonna grab this, and then we are just going to snap it right in. Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Then let's maybe just grab this end here, hold Alt, just to blend it in a bit. I guess it needs, the cars need to turn around a little bit too. So maybe what we'll do is we'll take this node here and we'll make it a crossing. And then what we'll do is we'll change up uh, the road at the end. So this one has parking, I mean, that's, that's the idea. But hmm, let's try this one. No, doesn't really work. The two lanes, does that look a bit nicer? No, maybe we just leave it and 
hope that when we pave it in, things look a bit nicer. It's a bit too big. Okay, pave all that. Okay, very nice. So we got the ferry terminals in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn them off for now. And need water down here. Whoops, I forgot to turn that on for you guys. Right up here. And we'll take our water uh, across. And up. And up. Might not actually get to building too, too much, but at least we're getting the main infrastructure down, right? So there we go. So that's the ferries. So the idea is that uh, people can come down to this, the via the subway, they can hop over here, they walk down this road, they get to the subway here. Let's actually line this up in the middle. I don't know why I didn't do that before. Line it up right in the middle there, and then we'll just line this up with that gate right there. So that's the front gate. Uh, let's just actually lower it into the ground a bit more. Yeah, that looks a bit better. And this needs to be tweaked a little bit. Yeah, look at that, guys. That looks wonderful. Oh. Beauty. All right, so what can we go down right over here? Uh, well, we have a potential for a plaza over here, don't we? It's a bit iffy, but I don't know about that one particularly. How about uh, just the basic park plaza? And that one, we just do that maybe and then move it into place like this. Pretty good. Uh, is the Paradox Plaza? I'm thinking about maybe using one of these ones. Is that big enough? Uh, it it kind of works. Let's see how that works in here instead of this one, because we've already used this one for this build. No, nope. too big. Okay. I don't think there's a plaza for here or in uh, the amusement park that really works. Yeah, it's not. I just hate the coloring on that. And then the zoo one. Uh, is a bit too clunky for my taste here. So let's just go back to what we had before. Sometimes your first idea is the best one, right? All right, so we'll take this right to the edge of the building here. We'll bring it back a little bit. There we go. That looks a bit, looks pretty nice. Bit of a plaza and you can come over here and enjoy uh, some snacks and maybe let's get some places to grab those snacks so let's get uh, oh I don't know if this is gonna really work over here yeah uh, let's just pretend <laughs> let's get a cannon <laughs> uh, all right and then let's take another peek at those actually because I forgot that there's still more space uh, so if we get the cafe over here that might look nice just attached to here Hanging out by the waterfront. I wonder if we can twist it. Maybe get a path in through here. And then this way people can enjoy uh, the waterfront a bit more. Okay, let's see if we can get a pathway. So my idea is to just use the pavement pathway because uh, they blend in with the concrete really nicely. But it looks like this doesn't like that. No road access. I guess it's because um, we uh, aren't putting it in a park. So let's just get it a bit closer. It's fine. Let's see how far we can go for getting away with it. All right, that's good. Um, and then maybe we can try to squeeze this in too. This is maybe you come here if you uh, are looking for info about 
which uh, ferry to take. Let's try to back it up and we'll turn it a little bit. Awesome. All right, pretty cool little build. I wonder if we can get those uh, things over here. We can kind of get one here. Okay, let's try to just plant this in and then use move it here. Oh, I don't have props on. How about just props? There we go. And I'll just try to detail it a little bit with just by adding this in here. And then I don't think anything else will really work. Okay, otherwise I'm just going to use move it and everything like that every single time. So let's leave it at that for now. Yeah, there we go. A little fairy pier. We got the trams going. Now, let's look at just developing this square, I guess. So, because we kind of ran out of time, didn't we? Building the fairy pier. Uh, all right, well, that's fine. Uh, let's make a bit of a district. And we're just going to bring this down and over like so. I think I'll bring it all the way out to here, even though we were talking about changing that eventually, so scratch that. So we'll make it over here, and then maybe we'll make Brook Square this whole uh, trapezoid kind of shape. Uh, yeah, anyways, okay, so we got that. Uh, we can bring a road up through here, but if we do that, I would rather um, have a different road as the priority. So let's just do this. Let's check it out. So we are on a bit of a hill. So perhaps what we can do is I can take a road from about... Oh, you know what I didn't do? Uh, I didn't make sure that this was sloped properly. So let's go from here to here. What? Yeah, I mean, that is for the tram, 4% grade. That's not terrible. Uh, you know what? We might actually be able to elevate a portion of this, which could be really unique. Uh, okay, let's choose the tram road. Elevate. If we elevate this, we might be able to get a road underneath it, which is kind of cool because it makes it like a... dedicated kind of system. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like that. And then we can get, we can kind of dig underneath it a little bit. Uh, yeah, let's try that. Okay, so let's just grab a normal road. How about we grab the asymmetrical road? Whoa. Um, and then I'm just going to go into the ground level here gonna click home go to about where this is so about there all right and then let's put everything back on exit out of the view flip it around yeah okay and then let's just grab it hold alt and just shrink it down a bit all right go yeah these are gonna have to change but uh, we'll do some road anarchy or hierarchy at a later date over here yes yeah, so we'll fling it around over here and we'll connect up right about oh right about over here so let's just grab another asymmetrical road right here we'll get a connection all right and I'll worry about I'll just do it now it's fine flip that around delete that segment Right, and then let's just grab a normal road for now. Uh, holy cow, time's getting away from me today. All right, and then let's get the curve tool. And we'll go into there, curve. All right, so now that we have this in place, these two nodes are perfectly placed for this. Um, I think maybe if we just manage to scooch it over, oh no, let's just undo. We did. That's fine. Let's grab both of these. 
and let's just lower it into the ground until we feel comfortable with the height. Which I suppose I do. Okay. And I think this is a bit off, isn't it? There we go. Uh, okay, and then I think this is a bit off now too. So I fiddled around with it too much. Should have just left it, you know? There we go, that's pretty nice. it up ever so slightly. Okay, that works. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, now that I've kind of fiddled around with that too much, let's now grab our sloping tool and go from here to here. Yeah, that's a bit of a grade, so that works. It's a one, it's a plus 1.8. Okay, that's fine. And then from Nope, exit from here to here. That's a fantastic looking grade. All right, so now let's just smooth out everything. Let's grab that brush, make it a bit bigger. Just smooth this out, we'll smooth out this hill. And we'll look to develop along the hill soon as well. It is quite steep, but I'm looking particularly to, to develop this area here in Brooks Square. Um, and let's just grab uh, this road here straight. Oh, I would really like it if we could maintain uh, this grid here. So let's go down here, here, here. Just, that's just temporary. And we'll run a road down like that, beside it. Okay. Take that, and then we'll connect up. Right there, okay. Yeah, that works with me. And then, let's just get this road connection back in. So I would really like just to use it as a bit of a marker. Perfect. And then let's just get a quick little pathway underneath here. For pedestrians. Alright. And then if we manage to just push this down right to the end on both sides of this, we can kind of make it look like... Uh, I mean, that's just for maybe. Uh, like, yeah. Anyway, I just I just think it looks neat because pedestrians can technically walk down there too. Sorry, that's what I was trying to say. All right, let's just pave in all this. It's always tricky to make it look nice when you're detailing underneath a bridge. All right. Well, whatever. We'll leave it that. Uh, and then now I can get uh, a couple of roads from here. So let's just do, uh, I think we'll, I'll keep those ones. So let's just get a, a bit of a road right here like that. Okay, so yeah, this is a good little start to Brooks Square here. And let's just check the elevation here really quickly because I have run out of time now. It's no longer, uh, it's getting tight. <laughs> I'll figure out how to detail around here first, but let's actually get some policies in here. 
and some themes, so we're going to allow anything. But international is going to be what I'm looking for. Um, let's grab uh, districts here. Let's make it uh, self-sufficient buildings. Um, not high tech. I think tourism is probably the commercial buildings we're going to want. We do have a tourism thing over here, though, but I mean, who wouldn't want to have a hotel over here? Uh, okay, we'll start with this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the district back a little bit. Let's just go down to here. Let's do this. And I'm just going to take it back along here. I just want to be a bit careful because I don't really want too many tourism buildings. Um, let's actually switch this up. It's going to be tough to live here because there's going to be a lot of noise. Hmm. So I'm thinking we get some hotels along in here and then some condos along the back and maybe a couple bars over here. I mean, some of the tourism buildings look like that, don't they? Yeah, they do. Okay. Never mind. Um, all right, so Park Square is Batherson Waterfront. All right, so let's uh, zone it in. Um, let's grab some condos right along the back here. We got condos all the way along the back. Uh, right in here can be some cool commercial buildings. And then I really want the priority zoning. Oh, this episode might go a bit long, guys. Uh, prioritize. That might work. Uh, let's go to older roads. Prioritize older roads. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. messing it up now okay that's fine all right so let's get uh, high density commercial just make sure we go in there uh, one there uh, this is a bit weird so I think we'll just kind of try to make that a bit of a park uh, that's weird okay, we'll get some high density commercial here here let's go low density commercial here then let's try to get some condos around back. Okay, and then we'll get condos all through here. Go with some low density commercial. Actually, I forgot about offices. That's a great zoning tool. Whoops, holy cow. Try to get a bit of a buffer here then. All right, and then I'm just gonna fill around with the zoning right here, because there we go, that works. Take zoning off that road. And let's take that out. Okay, and then we'll go with an office right here, and we'll take all this out, and then we'll just try and uh, dezone that street, and 
No, rezone that. Okay, that, that'll work, that'll work. Okay, let's get a condo here. Uh, and here. And we'll make that a bit of a park, I guess, because I don't really want uh, those buildings. All right, so we'll just kind of zone it up and we'll see what we get. Or you know what, this could actually be a services kind of uh, corridor. So we'll get an old fashioned firehouse. I mean, that takes up the whole darn thing, doesn't it? Got a nice little post office here in the corner. And maybe a clinic, a little bit. Oh yeah, we can get this to fit. There we go, and then I think we'll be able to get a condo tower here, and then we'll just fill in the rest of the concrete. Okay, so as this zones up, uh, I mean, we'll definitely probably need to look at maybe getting some other services through here, like school and fire and stuff like that, but maybe we can get that over here that'll uh, help support it. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll focus on other things at a later date, but I just wanted to get some detailing along the waterfront here. Uh, let's just make sure we pave this block in and this block as well. Because those are going to be important. And I think we'll need to pave in all these blocks along the edge here because of the weird zoning. But that's okay. All right, so we'll see what comes up here. And, oh, water, of course, because uh, this was a pretty long episode. Um, but, I mean, it, uh, it all worked out in the end. And we got our ferry pier in here, and the amount of car uh, passenger boats has really sh uh, shrunk down. So, um, holy cow, why are there so many of these orange trams? 37. It needs 12. I mean, probably more, but holy cow. 37? Is that for both of them? Like, why are they going that way? What, what's this one? This is the waterfront line. Did I mess up the trams? Right at the end of the episode, too. Why does the orange one go down here? Anyways, okay, I'll uh, I'll fill around with this. Oh, there we go. That was weird. I must that must have been a weird accident. Okay, that was probably why that was 37. <laughs> um, okay, well, now that it's starting to pop up, we can start looking at some of the buildings, and it looks pretty good. Yeah, okay. Well, I like how we're kind of making this a dedicated tram line, too. We're not kind of trying to fill around with things. So, I uh, will leave it here, guys, and I hope that you had a lovely day. Let's try to get a cool little view of the waterfront. And I'll talk to you soon. Just, let's just get a good thumbnail here, you know? Peace out.